Well, good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Cruise Man. Once again, heading home from Einstein's Bagels here in Carrollton, Texas. And it is an absolutely beautiful day today. This morning, it's about 75 degrees, 77 degrees, and uh, really pretty nice. You'll notice I'm back on the 2018 Goldwing today. I'm still uh, working on my review of the 2022 Indian Pursuit. Many of you have been watching some of the videos that I've put out, a couple of motor vlogs, and I did a video where I was doing some paint correction. So many of you saw that, I'm sure. And I just wanted to uh, let you know that I do still ride my Goldwing, believe it or not. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about safety and keeping yourself safe when you're riding. And I'm going to talk about a product that I've been using for almost a year now. And I've been very, very impressed with how it has performed. And I just want to use this video as an opportunity uh, to reiterate uh, how important it is to really take control and mitigate your uh, chances of survival or you're not surviving, I guess I should say, uh, when you're riding your motorcycle. And traffic's pretty heavy today. I don't think I'm going to get out here anytime soon. I may have to go right and then uh, go through the parking lot of this church up here to get home. So once again, if you're new to the channel, I want to make a quick reminder please take a second, if you haven't done so already, please click that little subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. You may have already noticed my TPMS light is flashing on the dash and it looks like my front tire is down to 32 pounds of pressure. I don't think my front tire has ever gotten that low and look bad but that's pretty low I normally keep the front tire at about 38 pounds 39 somewhere in that range so I guess I'm gonna have to uh, air it up when I get home I could pull over and use my portable tire inflator to put some air in uh, but I want to watch it for a few miles just to see if it uh, continues to go down or if it maybe the warmth of the uh, riding will heat up the tire in the air and make the pressure go back up. But nevertheless, I'm going to have to check it when I get home. I've never had a puncture in a front tire. It's always been in a rear tire. If you've ever had a front tire go flat or had a puncture in your front tire, put it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it. This morning, I wanted to give you kind of a, not quite a one-year update on my experience with the brake free helmet light i've been using it for a little over 10 months and i just wanted to go over my experience what i like what i don't like or what i'd like to see changed and i would like to first of all say that brake free is not sponsoring this video no money has exchanged hands between me and brake free uh, I'm not even an affiliate. They don't uh, have an affiliate program, so if you purchase Break Free, I get no benefit from it. However, I will tell you that Break Free did send me a unit not quite a year ago to test and review, which I did. And I'm going to put a link to that video up in the corner of this video, so if you want to check out that review, please do so. And in case you're wondering, I'm cutting through this church parking lot to get back to Hebron Parkway so I can get home. It's just easier than trying to do all the U-turns. Now, I mentioned that Break Free is not sponsoring this video, but the video does have a sponsor. It's only possible, all these motor vlogs are only possible because of all of you out there that have purchased my Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. I have maintenance videos for the 2001 to 2022 Goldwing. I'll put links in the description of this video. You can check it out at your convenience. Thank you to all of those of you that have supported this channel over the years. Okay, now let me talk a little more about Brake Free. Just a quick summary. The Brake Free helmet light is a light that attaches 
to the back of your helmet. And what makes it kind of unique is that it has a decelerometer built in. I call it that. I guess that's what you call it. And it knows when you're slowing down or coming to a stop. And what it does is it begins flashing a, the light, the red light on the back of your helmet anytime you're coming to a stop or even if you're just slowing down. Rear end collisions are a big problem on a motorcycle. And I believe uh, anything you could do to make yourself more visible to traffic coming up behind you when you're riding the bike is a good thing because everybody today is distracted. People are on their cell phones. Uh, they're eating, they're talking to their kids, I don't know, whatever they're doing, fiddling with the radio or whatever. And you need something that's going to grab their attention. Now, the brake free sits up very high because it's on the back of your head. So it's it kind of gives you a different uh, warning to a driver of a car than, say, tail lights or anything like that. So I have tail blazers on this motorcycle because they flash when you start hitting the brakes, uh, but the this brake free just adds one extra degree of safety and I really, really feel like it makes a difference. In fact, I've had a lot of people come up to me at stoplights and roll their window down and tell me how visible the brake free light is. One of the things I really like about this light is the battery life. Uh, it is a rechargeable battery and I have never had the light go dead on me in a day of riding and I've ridden some 9-10 hour days and every time I take off my helmet at the end of the day the light is still performing. So the battery life is extremely good. The unit seems very very well made. It's very well engineered. It feels solid. I personally like the way it mounts to my HJC helmet. They have these little helmet mounts and you can buy extra mounts. So if you have multiple helmets, it's very easy to swap these around uh, or swap the light to another helmet if you need to. So I don't think battery life is going to be an issue for most riders. I'm pretty sure that brake free rates the light at 10 to 12 hours of life per charge. Oh, hey, look, there's a fox running across the road. Not sure if you saw that. That's Pretty interesting you don't see that every day now I, I did have one issue and that was one time I let the brake free go completely dead I had used it for several days in a row and I took the helmet off and the light uh, when I got home it was it was completely the battery was drained so I plugged it in I recharged overnight uh, I came out the next morning and I could not get the light to come on so I'm wondering hey what's going on I thought maybe it was shot uh, I contacted Brake Freeze tech support and told them the situation and they told me that what I needed to do was hold down that uh, power button for like 10 or 15 seconds and just keep holding it down and that would it like it reboots or resets something internally in the computer chip and I did that and sure enough that worked and it's worked flawlessly ever since and I haven't allowed it to run completely dead since then but at least now I know the fix if I need to. There's really two things that I was hoping Brake Free would address in future versions, and they've already addressed one of them, uh, but I'll tell you about the other one first, and that is I wish they would uh, switch from micro USB charging port to a USB-C. Um, I think USB-C will charge faster, and it's just kind of an industry standard. I'm tired of having to carry a USB-C and a micro USB cable with me when I travel. I still have a couple of other things that use micro USB and I, I really don't like it. I, I like that everybody's going to USB-C. I wish my iPhone would go to micro USB-C instead of this stupid lightning cable. And apparently they're planning to do that in the next year or two. But nevertheless, if Brake Free would get rid of the micro USB and go with USB-C, I think that'd be great. Also. The other thing I was hoping for was that the they would come out with a, a, a white model because I'd rather have a white brake free on the back of my helmet because I have a white helmet. Sure enough, uh, they have now released a, a model that's going to be coming in white. And I think the white just looks really, really cool. It looks very clean. It fits the color of my helmet. 
Uh, I can't wait for that to come out. I know there's been a delay because they said, uh, or I talked to the owner of the company, and he said that they've had, obviously, production problems, just like everybody is right now, uh, but they, they hope to have them in before too much longer. Uh, in his email to me, he also mentioned they're coming out with a couple of new mounting options for some helmets that they were, the curve of the helmet was not working well with their mounts. One of them is a showy helmet. I'm not sure which one. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see. Uh, but they are addressing that issue. For those of you that have helmets uh, where their uh, brake-free mount doesn't work very well, uh, they are going to be coming out with additional mounts for a couple of different models of helmets. So that should resolve that issue. Overall, though, I have been extremely satisfied with this product. I think it adds to rider safety. I think it's something that every rider should have, regardless of what kind of motorcycle you ride. I know there's a gentleman that comes in for coffee a couple times a week there at Einstein's. He also rides a motorcycle. Uh, he saw the brake free on my helmet one day when I got off the bike and he went right out and bought one after I talked to him about it. So I'm a believer in the product. So I'm kind of curious if you already own a brake free and you're using this on your helmet, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be very interested in knowing. And also, did you purchase the brake free because you saw it on this channel? Um, it'll help me know how effective our videos are. And uh, once again, uh, there's no financial benefit to me but even if there were, it's still a great product. But uh, I am not an affiliate. They, to my knowledge, they don't even have an affiliate program. So anyway, I am probably going to be in Alaska when this video is released. And uh, I'll be back in a few days. And I will be finishing up my review of that 2022 Indian Pursuit. I am hoping that Indian is going to allow me to take that motorcycle to West Texas for a road trip so I can kind of get a feel for it on the highway. Uh, if they don't, then I'll come up with another way to do some long-term uh, highway testing. But hopefully they will, and I can get out to West Texas and see my brother. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. It really makes a huge difference in our YouTube rankings and helps out the channel. Much, much appreciated. And remember to ride often and ride safe. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.